Jagan Chapagin, the Secretary General of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Christian Societies, said he has been discussing the global priorities of the humanitarian society with President Barrow, which include responding to disaster, crisis, climate, health, migration, and issues around protection and inclusion. Jagan and team was at the State House on Monday. I was very fortunate to share uh, global ideas, particularly focusing on the issue of migration, uh, globally and particularly here in the region, and Gambia being a country of the origin, transit, and destination for the, for the migrants. Um, I was truly honored to hear the views of the president, and also had the opportunity to share my views uh, with the president. We both agreed that migration is a major humanitarian uh, situation. Um, and this is a real, this is impacting people. People have been moving all around the world uh, for a very long time. Jagan said it is extremely important that the humanitarian needs of migrants are met, irrespective of their status and movement. The basic humanitarian services should be able to be accessed by every migrant. And this was a point of agreement with the, uh, with, with the president. Of course, we also talked at length uh, the important role of the Gambian Red Cross uh, in Gambia and the major contributions the Gambian Red Cross makes in their auxiliary role to the public authorities on humanitarian field, including in the areas of migration. Uh, and we agreed that these are the areas we have to continue to work together to strengthen, and we need to work together to make uh, to strengthen the capacity of the Gambian Red Cross to build the financial sustainability and make sure that the Gambian Red Cross remains a very sustainable organization providing the humanitarian assistance in the country. So these were some of the key topics of discussion with the President. Uh, I feel truly honored that we had this opportunity to share uh, our views on some of the very important global issues and priorities. Monday at the State House, President Barrow also received Dr. Mohamed Ibn Chambers Mohamed was joined by a team from International IDEA, which has been a partner of the Gambia since the Barrow administration in 2017. This time we have come to see Mr. President, who has uh, gracefully invited us to come and see how working with uh, all Gambian stakeholders, we can initiate or kickstart uh, political dialogue to put back on track the constitutional reform process. For Mohamed Ibu Chambers, the constitutional review process has helped to advance the Gambia's democracy. Uh, it is not a matter of starting from scratch. Uh, after the submission of the report of the Constitutional Review Commission, this was extensively discussed, including at the National Assembly. A number of issues were source of, let me just say, contention, maybe disagreement. A dialogue process was initiated with international IDEA, supporting these consultations. And the result has been that many of the contentious issues, in fact most, have now been subject of consensus. We can advance with this process and lead it to its conclusion so that a new constitution can be adopted, as you know, according to Gambian law, by ultimately by referendum. Talking about President Barrow's reaction to their meeting, Mohamed Ibn Chambers said President Barrow is fully committed to the constitutional review process. And he has, on a number of occasions, publicly st stated his position. The rest is for us to get all the stakeholders to support the government. All should come on board in a consensual manner. Let us find a way that this process can lead to a situation where Gambia continues to be recognized as one of the countries, not only in West Africa, but in Africa, that is making progress in consolidating its democracy. Mohamed said the Gambia under President Barrow has established itself as a champion of peace and democracy 
using the last presidential, parliamentary, and local government elections to justify his argument, a gem he said Gambians should continue to cherish. Louis Mendy, GRTS.